Hello, hello everybody, it's Eric Freeze, it's Augusta 4th, and I'm making a video of repairing Christmas decorations. Wow, I guess it's never too early to start this. It's also 11.51 p.m. There's Norfolk Southern, so, um... So, that's Norfolk Southern, uh, coming by at 11.52 p.m. Um, but I have this. This is a four-foot Douglas fir singing Christmas tree. As you can tell, it's pretty tall. I got this from a private collector uh, that lives somewhat near where I do. Let's see if I can loosen this. I can get the tripod to move a bit nicer move this back a little bit but a issue I have with it is the mouth it doesn't close all the way oh what is this yeah it's like a mop and the toilet I'll flush it later but this video is gonna be a bunch of freak shows the mouth is, it's kind of screwed up. This upper part, it can be bent back because this is just normal artificial Christmas tree material. But this is just, it's all warpy doodled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this mouthpiece. There's some screws on the bottom. And I'm gonna let it sit for a while and See if that helps with reforming it. Looks kind of drunk now, say that. Make the eyes. I think it might have to replace the gear in the bottom section. I know like one one part isn't working the best. It's also probably because I'm using a 7 volt Akadaka adapter when this calls for a 9 volt, I believe. 9 volt Akadaka adapter. Hi, I'm Douglas Burr. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a what? Can't really see it now, but it, you, you can actually kind of see where it's, what it does when it's on. The cats came over here. The cats love these things for some reason, but, um, should just be able to use a standard screwdriver on this, but I have no idea. I know when I had it on the aux mode, I could hear one of the motors still whirring, even now, um, either it was the eyes or mouth was in the open position. I don't know if the person before me, if they actually worked on it and repair it, or if it's all original parts, I'm not too sure. And this is the rarest, or one of the rarer variants. And the Gemi made lots of these um, throughout the late 90s and early 2000s. leg is very itchy right now, but I'm not going to scratch it. I don't feel like bending down. Well, 11.55. This screw here wasn't even that tight, and after that, the mouth should just come off like so. This doesn't go back up, is it? I know the spring on this was kind of knacker. Where where did it go? Well, 
must have put in T. Oh, I see. Okay, so the spring, for future reference, it goes in this hole here, which the camera is so low quality you won't be able to see it, but there's holes here in the bottom of the mouthpiece, I remember now. So that just holds down the friction of the mouth waiting on it, and it helps. Um, something I never understood with these mouthpieces on these is kind of these holes here along the bottom. I don't know what these are for. I don't know if it was to help make it lighter. So it's cheaper for the molding to be made or if it's also lighter so it's easier on the mechanism. I'm not too sure. Um, so my, like you can see that's very warpy doodled. So, I'm gonna get some cardboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay some cardboard here. I'm gonna put the mouth on it and another layer of cardboard, then a plank of wood, and then I'm gonna put a brick on top of it. And hopefully that will help it flatten out. I'm gonna also do this on the floor. So there's not as much space. I mean, not, I mean, so it doesn't take up as much space on this table. Got some light going on. There's that plank of wood, and then there's a brick. And then here is some cardboard from the jungle site. Um, I should have another piece in the basement. I also got this thing, which was a thing that held some canned carrots together. Let's see how the camera positioning is. I'd say that's pretty good. Ouch. I guess we'll have it to where all the little screw holes are facing the bottom. So put this on first here and then put this on at the top of it. On. I was just going to do one brick because I think that would be good enough, but it doesn't feel like enough pressure to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to grab a street paver, I'm going to put a street paver on here as well as this brick. Uh, got a street paver and a second brick. This should hopefully be just enough or more than enough to um, flatten this. I return the video and either, I'm not sure, might be tomorrow to check up on it. Or it could be a week from now, maybe even a month. Uh, when I come back to this just to see how this is doing. So, I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Um, that was the mini freeze. Looky there, or whatever, we returned. Um, it's been, I think, over a week. I was gonna work on it the night of the basement flooding, and it's been another week or whatever since that. So, let's see if the mouth has unwarped. Moving the bricks. I see it kind of spring up a little bit. That's not a good sign. It still looks. Still doesn't look perfectly fine. I might have to come back and do this at a later date. Um, I'm getting this one going because I'm bringing it, uh, bringing it out to a friend's house um, tomorrow uh, to show it off because it's kind of an unusual item and he went, he hasn't seen one before so. regard to snares but yeah kind of unimpressed 
So we'll pick up on this out in the garage on my newly built workbench. This tree is so big it doesn't fit on the camera, but this is the uh, four foot uh, Douglas fir talking tree. Um, so you saw the mouth is ready as of right now. And this is gonna be kind of a challenge to put back together. Um, Give it a screwdriver first, but there is a uh, spring on here that kind of gets held down underneath the mouth. I'm going to turn the ceiling fans on. I'll be right back. So I'm going to have to figure out how to put the uh, mouthpiece back on. And I'm going to go meet up with a uh, another animatronic collector uh, tomorrow. It is currently, I don't know because the clock's broken, so I have to check this, 12.49 a.m. So... <laughs> This is going to be interesting. So this just goes into this one hole here. And I feel like the hardest part is going to be holding that in place while attaching um, her mouth. This mounts like a whole lot higher than I thought it would. Okay, I think I got it. This looks like it's a very annoying and tedious process. spreading in or not. It feels like it's stripping. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. China. This is made by the Jemmy, so it's going to be very awful in terms of build quality. This one actually feels like it's doing something. That one just feels like it's stripping. As of right now, I don't. It doesn't look like it's bad as it was. It still has a bit of a tilt to it, though. By the way, Pine Productions, if you're watching this, uh, when you got this, was the mouth always kind of tilted like this? I don't think you ever made a video of it, but I'd really like to know. I'm not mad at you for uh, storing it incorrectly or anything. It's your item. You can do whatever you want with it, but I'm just curious if it's always been that way. Yeah, it's still kind of... has that tilt to it, so that's not going to be perfect. I guess what I could do is like bend the branches down. At some point in time I'm going to make a comparison video against this and the free foot. There's a lot of similarities and differences with this. I know there's a few different versions of the three foot. The four foot is kind of the most uncommon. I think it looks pretty good right now. Um, you can kind of see it that once the branches get fluffed out and you're actually using this thing for its intended purpose, like for holiday decoration, de decorations, decorating stuff or whatever, you'll be able to actually see what it looks like. I still don't know how these cords get in knots, but it annoys me. Hi, I'm Douglas Burr. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle Someone also um, asked me why the forefoots are always, well it's not really the forefoot, but all the ones that are uh, microphone adaptable. 
Um, all of those are always very high pitch. I'm actually curious because this thing calls for a uh, it calls for a nine volt, and I want to see how this works with the nine volt. At the time, I never had a nine foot. Um, but there is a, uh, not 9 foot, 9 volt. So there's that. This is a uh, replacement adapter for my uncle's um, life-size Santa. This one is a bit different, but 200 milliamps, 9 volt. It's rated for... Uh, battery charging. I think he told me he got this at Radio Shack. Remember when that was a thing? So, try this out. Let's see if this works a bit better. That doesn't seem to make a difference. I think it's because this is 200 milliamps, because this one here is 800 milliamps, so we're going to need like a 9 volt 800 milliamp adapter, it's the only 9 volt I know of the having, and that probably also explains why that Santa uh, danced a bit slow, so, yeah, there's that, it, it's good enough for me. If I have a 9 volt, I definitely um, work a bit better. Um, Pine Productions lost the um, lost the original uh, power cord for this. I don't even know if she said it had a power cord, but she said she couldn't find one at the time. So um, I haven't gotten a response from her, so I don't know if the power cord still exists or not. But at some point in time, um, if she doesn't show with it, I might go out and buy one. Um, I'll have to have a look online. Not to mention, this right here is a very old Douglas fir adapter. I can't remember which tree this came off of, but I know I've had this one for a while. This one's very heavy, seven, uh, 7 7.5 volts, no, 7 volts DC. Um, this one works to 6 volts just fine, but this one actually has nuts on it, so you can take apart the AC-DC adapter to service it for some reason. I found that quite strange, because normally you'd Normally these things are just plastic molded together. Um, I think this one I actually, I think this adapter right here I found at a thrift store. So I know I found a Douglas fir adapter at a thrift store. Um, so this might be the one from that thrift store. I'm not too sure. But I've had this one for a while. So thank you very much for watching and um, keep the breeze I guess.